and good morning. Welcome to another vlog. I don't really know what to start this with, to be honest. It is currently Saturday the 9th of October. It's the start of first week of term. Um, and today is Bop Day. Now, you might be thinking, Eve, what is a Bop? Because I've not mentioned them for 18 months, because we haven't had them for 18 months. They stand for Big Organised Party, which sounds super lame, and they are kind of lame, but in the best possible way. So basically, the college bar opens, and everyone comes down, and there's always a costume theme, and there's good music, and then everyone goes out clubbing afterwards. And it's just a good vibe, and do some costume shopping for that today. I think I've decided what I want to go as, but if I see something in town that I prefer, then I'll definitely get that. But we're basically going into town because at the Student Union, that's a lie, at the Oxford Union, two very different things. There is a student essentials fair where you can buy plants and posters and basically things for your room. So we're heading down there to get that and then we're going to go for lunch, have a bit of a shop, basically not do any work because term starts on Monday and yes I have deadlines but I feel like they can wait, like they can wait, I just want to have a chilled day today. Just got dressed, um, I've got my big puff coat on, you're just going to hear me raving about these for the whole of winter because they're literally so warm. And yeah, we're going to head into town, it's a beautiful misty day as you would have seen in the opening clips. So I'm feeling very autumnal. Let's go. So before we pop into this weekly vlog, I just wanted to say that it's actually very, very kindly sponsored by Air Up. One of my aims for this academic year is to drink more water because honestly, I often just forget or I find myself drinking other things like tea or fizzy pop throughout the day. Air Up sent me their bottle to try a few weeks ago and I've been using it since then and I am honestly astonished at how much more water I've been drinking. So the bottle is designed with really cool technology which basically means that you can taste through your smell. So what you do is you attach a scented pod to the top of the bottle. There are loads of different flavours. Some of my favourites have got to be the cola ones. You guys know why the cola ones are one of my favourites. And probably as well the mango and passion fruit. I think this is probably the winner for me. And then once you've attached the pod, you pull it up to activate it. And then when you drink through the straw, it creates a slipstream where not only water but also air is transported up into your mouth. Meaning you taste the water as if it's flavoured, but there's no additives, there's no sweeteners, there's literally nothing actually added to the water. And it's vegan, it's just pure water, but it tastes like flavoured water. Genius. It uses 25 to 50 times less plastic and litter than typical bottled beverages. So it's really, really great if you drink a lot of fizzy pop like I do, and it will also save you a fair bit of money as well. The plastic bottle is reusable as well, and the pods are recyclable, so it really is a good way to drink more water whilst being kind to the planet. Each pod lasts at least five litres of water, and the bottles come in loads of different colours, so you can customise it to match your style. It's just a really fun and cool way to drink more water, and it's going to be an absolute lifesaver for me at university when I'm doing essays. <laughs> if you want to try it out, then you can click the link down in the description and use the code on screen EV10 for a discount on your purchase. Thank you so much to Eric for sponsoring this video. I really do appreciate it but I mainly appreciate how much more water I'm drinking because of you so thank you and let's go on with the vlog So we are literally on our way back to college because we bought so many house plants that we couldn't carry them around town But there were so many and the guy was so friggin nice that we were like well We just objectively have to buy them all so now we're gonna have a lovely green kitchen And I'll show you them when we have put them down and they have pots and everything, but they also have a, um, a Poster sale, so I think we're gonna head to the poster sale After this we're gonna go back into town. So we're definitely getting our steps in today. But yeah <laughs> Hi, mm. you're such a poser. You're such yeah. a poser. Yeah. Oh, he's actually really cute. He's so beautiful. He's a very nice cat. Out. Then we headed on back into town. We couldn't carry the plants around with us all day, but we actually went back to the Oxford Union and we went to have a look at the posters and we did end up getting a few for our kitchen, which was super lovely. They had so many to choose from, but a lot of them were quite cheesy, I won't lie. And then we headed up to Westgate, which is the giant shopping centre in Oxford. Honestly, it's so good. Oxford has pretty much every shop you could ever possibly need. And we had a mooch around the shops while we were waiting for our table to be called. And then we headed up to the rooftop and we went for Nando's. And I had the pea protein wrap, peri-peri chips and garlic bread. It was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Hello, everyone. So... <laughs> 
um it's now much later we were in town for like six hours today it was so nice like genuinely to just have like a shopping day um, I got a few bits and bobs, nothing really haul worthy, most of it was mainly stuff for the flat which you'll probably see around. Um, but tonight is the bar, but and you might be thinking Eve, why have you got two cups on your head? Good question. Um, the theme is things that you missed during lockdown and so many people are doing like, oh I miss my friends or like I missed festivals or clubs, that's kind of like the common theme. So I was like, I need to think of something unique and we have a vending machine in college, like there's um, uh, loads of vending machines called the Vendies and um they sell this chocolate milk which is oh, it's right by the library so for those late night essay crises it has been an absolute saving grace for me over the years i've drank an embarrassing amount of them and so i'm going as choco milk um i need to like pin this down onto my head once i've done my hair but this is my hair band that i've fashioned together and i'm going to go dressed fully in brown and put choco milk so anyway i'm going to put a vinyl on and then I'm gonna get ready because pre start in in pretty soon in pretty soon and I'm not even nearly ready. So yes. <laughs> Please ignore the state of my room, but this is my costume. <laughs> I'm gonna write choco milk on me, but this top is from Motel Rocks and I've been waiting for an excuse to wear it. So why not dress as a chocolate based drink? Now let's go to pre's. <laughs> <laughs> forgive the headache patch on my head here i just wanted to say i know we've not been out for a long time this was my first time out out not even out out i didn't even make it to the club first time partying properly since pre-pandemic and if you saw me that night if, you, if i spoke to you that night just please if you're a fresher please don't take that as your first impression of me oh lord I have no words, and maybe I'll show you guys some of the video clips that have occurred from that evening, but... Anyway, on with the vlog. Hello everyone, good morning. Um, it's now Monday, I did not vlog anything yesterday because, to be quite honest, I didn't have a voice, so couldn't really vlog because I couldn't talk, and also was not really in a fit state to be vlogging. Um, but it is now Monday morning, it's 10 o'clock. I've just spent the morning tidying my room, it needs a bit more tidying judging about but i really do need to get going with some work today i have my first essay due on friday i've not even started the reading so that is the plan for this week it's going to be very much geared around this friday essay and then i have another one due next tuesday so i think it's going to be quite an intense week work wise i'm quickly going to go make myself some breakfast and then i'm going to head into town into the library and get my linguistics on i literally have no idea what i'm doing but yes <laughs> So I headed into town and I went straight to, well I tried to go to Common Ground actually but it was closed because they're redoing the floor still. So I went to the Taylorian, went and sat in my favourite spot as per usual and got on with this translation and I put my forest app on so I didn't get distracted and I actually did manage to do most of it to be honest. Um, and then I headed down Little Clarendon Street 
which is one of my favourite streets in Oxford, and we went to this new cafe called the Tree Artisan Cafe, and I had a bit of a catch up with the girls from my German course, because obviously we've not seen each other in a long time. I do live with one of them, but the other two are not living in college this year. Um, so it was really, really nice to catch up with them. And then we headed right through where our faculty is to the Sackler, which is the ugliest library in Oxford, as I mentioned in my last vlog, I think. But it's really good because it's so ugly, you kind of just have to get some work done. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing to look at. So I carried on with some admin bits, some YouTube emails. Um, the emails have just been flooding in this week. <laughs> it's been a lot. But anyway, and then we headed to Worcester, which I've not been in so long. Oh my god, it's just so beautiful. It's, it is my favourite college in Oxford, apart from LMH. And you'll see some more clips of it in a minute. But we had our first translation class back, and it was actually a really encouraging class. As you can tell, we were just having such a laugh. This class is always one of my faves. Hello everyone, so we just had a translation class and we are now going for a walk around Worcester grounds because we've not been here for a year and a half and it's very pretty, so I shall show you. Also Emma Watson went here, so if you're a Harry Potter fan then now you know that too. <laughs> everyone so we just went for a lovely walk around the gardens have a bit of a catch up um not a long one because we've all got lots of work to do i'm now just gonna go ahead to tesco and get some food and then i'm gonna head back to college and do some more work and that's basically the plan for this evening hello everyone so <clears throat> sorry my voice is still not back properly it's currently 20 past seven and i've just been working for like an hour and a half or so just doing some reading, um, I am feeling a little bit overwhelmed, um, like this essay that's due on Friday. I just don't really know where to start, I feel like with a, lingu with a language, with a literature essay, sorry. Um, I always just have like a basic idea in my head of what I want to say, like I've read the book, I have some ideas, and then I kind of just need to read around that to flesh it out, but I know nothing about the essay question, like I don't know anything about it at all, so... I am feeling a little bit ah, uh, but I'm trying not to let myself get overwhelmed by it and I'm going to go to the gym now, go and let out some stress and go and focus on something different um, and I'll get back to it tomorrow and ultimately I have done how many years of this, I know it will be fine and I know that it will all come good by Friday and that even if it's not the best essay ever, it will be a good place to start, I've got three more essays to like try, you know, so there's so much telling me that it's going to be fine and I'm so determined to just keep my head above water this term and realise that there are more important things in life um, so I think my focus is definitely waning now so I'm going to give it up for today and get back on it tomorrow but yeah I'm going to go to the gym now and do a incline walk on the treadmill I think because I've got some emails I need to do and then maybe a bit of a leg workout I think I've got the gym to myself so that's going to be really nice and then I'm going to have some dinner oh, man I feel like I've got used to eating really late um, which I know is not good for you, but that was kind of how, when I ate in Spain and I never really reversed that. Um, and also just because I'm so busy, I it, 8, 8.30 is kind of the time that I eat now. So yeah, I no longer get hungry until like 8, 8.30. So I may as well just leave it like that for now. <laughs> Hello, so this is the LMH gym. For those of you who are wondering, here is me. Um, it's actually pretty decent to be honest. I don't know why I'm wearing a mask. I'm literally the only person in here, but anyway. There's like a squat rack, some benches, there's treadmill, like stuff for cardio, cable machine, weights, mats. So, I mean, someone has left it in an absolute stay. I don't know who the hell was in here before me, but this is not how it normally looks. But anyway, I'm going to do a workout now. I probably won't film it because there's nowhere to put my camera on the treadmill. But yes, let's go. <laughs> morning everybody it is now tuesday sorry i didn't vlog much yesterday evening i was honestly just so shattered by the end of the day that i was like i can't today i only have two lectures it's currently just coming up to 20 past nine so i'm just packing my bag to go i've got one lecture at 10 then an hour and then one lecture at 12 and then 
yeah, then I'm gonna spend the rest of the day working, to be honest, because I really need to get, like, a dent in this reading, like, because I have no idea what's going on. Um, yeah. And she never gives in. And she never gives in. Fit check of the day. Feet, my room, which is somehow messy already. Got this top on, because I've been listening to Billy Joel this morning, so I thought I'll put Billy Joel top on. Um, turtleneck underneath, because it's kind of cold, but, like, not that cold. And then my jeans, which are from Pull and Bear. Uh, my necklace, which is from, oh, well, it would help if it was actually on properly. My necklace is from Ski Dip. Earrings are just plain hoop earrings. And I've left my hair natural, um, which I'm not really happy with, but I'm trying to embrace it more. So yes, let's go to a medieval German lecture. No word of lie, I've not touched medieval German since second year, so I think this is gonna be very interesting. <laughs> But hey, gotta get back into it somehow, right? So I had my first lecture in Taylorian room two, which is one of my favorite lecture rooms ever. And then I spent an hour working in between. Then I had my other lecture in the main hall, which I haven't had a lecture in here since first year. So that was a big throwback. And then I just popped to Tesco, which I don't think I filmed. Then I had lunch back with my flatmates. We were drafting an email about something. I can't even remember what it was. It was like an angry email about something. Anyway, we went to the college. No, wait, I've lost track. We went to college library. No, I went to college library. And I'm in my gym gear because, um, well, you'll see why in a second. Obviously, like, doing some form of exercise, clearly. Anyway, got on with some work. Sorry, this voice note. I'm losing my mind. It's literally Wednesday when I film this voiceover and I'm already losing my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, so I was going to go to the gym, but the girls actually suggested that we went on a run. Um, so we're going on a run. Um, I'm having like a little 50 minute essay break. I am finally getting somewhere with this essay because I changed the question I was doing. Because there's more information on the other question. Um, and yeah, I thought a little bit of a run would give me a bit of perspective, help me clear my head. And I'm hoping that because I'm running with other people, it might help me with my pacing. But I'm definitely risking it here because I might get a tension headache tomorrow, which would not be good. But fingers crossed. <laughs> did in fact get a headache, but it's not as major as previous ones have been. So maybe we are getting somewhere. So we popped out for a run. I don't know what my hand is doing here. That's a bit chaotic. And then Polly was like, let's do a core workout. So I only filmed the first two minutes of it, but... You know what? I have no call. So that was fun. Um, and then we just went for a little wander around the grounds for 20 minutes just to clear our heads. And as you saw, those birds were flying in such a cool line. And LMH is so pretty. And I could sing its praises for days. But I won't because you've heard it all before. And then we went back, freshened up. And we actually all just sat in George's room for a while and got a couple of hours work done with Classic FM playing in the background, which was super productive, um, to be honest. And then I made a very horrible looking um, whole wheat tofu stir fry. <laughs> Hello everyone, so we are watching Bake Off and cooking a lemon drizzle cake because I don't know, we all just sort of like, maybe, did we collectively agree on a lemon drizzle cake or did I just say lemon drizzle cake and that was what we were doing? I think you might have said lemon drizzle Okay, but well, anyway, I have imposed my choice of cake on the flat. Um, so I look really red and disheveled but this kitchen is just so hot, I don't know why, I just, I, I heat up. Um, anyway, we're watching Bake Off. And I know we watched Bake Off last night, but we were running behind. Um, and it's what week is it? Is it dessert week? Which is making me want dessert. So that that's my really exciting update for the vlog. <laughs> Hello everyone. So it is currently quarter past twelve, and. I don't even know what we're doing. I feel like I just... You must be thinking, Eve, you literally do nothing in the evenings now. I just have so much to do that, like, I feel like now I'm, like, I have my one event or two events a week that I, like, really look forward to, but I cannot be doing what I was doing in second year and, like, just going to the bar every night and stuff because I actually just, like... I can't hack it. Anyway, it's currently quarter past 12 and I'm just tidying my room quickly before going to bed. I was going to go to a lecture tomorrow morning, have a 9 a.m., but... The, the actual lecture is not technically relevant to any of the paper, like any of the modules that I'm actually going to do in my final exam. And I, I'm not going to lie, I really need to like make an essay plan tomorrow for this essay that's due on Friday. So I think I'm going to ditch that, which means that I'm not in too much of a rush to get up in the morning. So I'll probably be really boring and going to LMH library. I'm really concerned that you guys are going to think, oh, she just goes to the same libraries and like does the same things, but. I just, as much as I would love to like go and study in a different library every day, it's just not convenient, do you know what I mean? So, hope that you're not finding this vlog too boring, um, but this is literally 
my life at uni. But anyway, I'll see you in the morning. I'm off to go to sleep. Set my sleep cycle alarm to wake me up in my lightest sleep phase. And um, feeling good. Let's go. <laughs> Hello everyone, so it is now Wednesday morning. I'm feeling a little bit groggy, as you can probably tell, um, but I am gonna go to the library and get some work done. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. Um, you're not technically allowed a cup of tea in the LMH library, but like, I've got a keep cup that doesn't leak, so it's fine, and I need tea. Um, I'm gonna go and do some essay reading. So it's an exciting morning all round, but I am actually quite excited to do this essay reading, because I finally found an article that is actually relevant to the essay question. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, so I just had a class and I've sorted a few things out with my tutor that were kind of like stressing me. I've moved my essay deadline so that my essays are a bit more spread out and like it's just better vibes. Um, I was feeling quite stressed in that class, I don't know why, like I think it was just all, I don't know, it was just a lot. Um, but we are on track and I've decided this year like if I get feedback that says oh this is wrong rather than um, being like oh no like I'm useless, like I'm not worth anything, like oh my god like just getting all stressed about it. I literally was like to my tutor, I was like you've said this and I know I need to fix this, so can we please meet? And like, you're paying, you're paying how much money? Like, you will get that time out of them. So I've given myself extra work somehow, but I think it's actually really needed because it's it's like the one thing that I just can't get right. So feeling very proud of myself about that, despite all the emotions that it brought up in me. Like, you really have to, you really have to fight against your inner tendencies. Anyway, I'm gonna have a naked bar really quick. I had planned to do some stuff in the hour between the two classes, but I've got this all over my lips, sorry. Um, but I didn't have time, so I've got five minutes till I need to head into town. So I'm gonna have an naked bar and just contemplate life. And that's that, really. My class was a bit of information overload, so me and Anna actually went to Taylor's and we just had a little 20 minute debrief, calm down sort of chat. And then I had to head up to St. Hugh's, which is actually one of the other all women colleges. LMH was one as well, LMH was the first, just saying. Um, but you'll notice there's loads of like women's suffrage and stuff um, because they actually didn't admit men for a hundred years after they were founded So they didn't admit men till 1986 Girl power. Anyway, I thought you'd want to know that so admire the gardens now if you like <laughs> Hello, don't mind the noise of the toilet. I'm sorry, but I've just made it to St. Hugh's. I've got one of my classes here this year didn't realise how far it was um, from the city centre. I thought LMH was far, but this takes it to a new level anyway. I've been feeling a bit flustered today, if I'm honest, so I'm sorry I've not really vlogged talking much. I think it's just information overload, but I'm trying to pull myself back together because it's literally the third day of term. Um, and yeah, so I've got a class now, and then I'm actually meeting two of my friends who you might remember from first year, Lindsay and Olivia, they lived on my floor. We're going to LMH Hall for dinner, like just the LMH dining hall, which will be super nice. And then it's gonna be an evening of admin stuff so I can get my essay done tomorrow. But yeah, I'm off. Hello again, everybody. I have a headache strip on my head. Polly gave me them because I've got a bit of a headache today and it's literally done it's done wonders, so if you ever struggle with headaches, then I'd really recommend this. Um, it's currently 9 o'clock, and I'm actually just going to FaceTime my dad, because it's his birthday today, and unfortunately I couldn't be with him. I'm going to see him next week, because um, of just the way that everything works out, but I'm going to FaceTime him now, and hopefully see my little siblings as well. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear dad, happy birthday day to you <laughs> my sister bless her filmed my dad's reaction basically i got him present last year that then got postponed so i told him i'd tell him this year but then it got postponed again but i thought you know what i've got to tell him so this is his reaction to that and i thought i'd just keep it in if anything just for me to remember because i wish i could have told him in person mm. <laughs> no you've frozen already <laughs> good present yeah when you're ready so I bought you this last year. It was last year, wasn't it, that I said that this was your present for? 
and then it got postponed and it has unfortunately been postponed to 2023 so it will now you will now be um 50, 51 by the time we go even though it was 348th birthday but we are going to see El John no way and i've got really good seats <laughs> no, it's frozen. Are you joking? Oh wait, no. Oh, that's cool. No, come back, come back. Hello, I'm still here. Come back, no. Hello, 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 hello. I'm back. That's um, awesome. Yeah, we there. It's, it's goodbye, Yellow Brick Road tour at, at Birmingham. Oh, fab. Can you hear me? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, we've got like really good seats, like just sort of on the side, but like right near the stage, so. Hello, you've probably seen um, this version of me popping in throughout the video so far, but I'm just checking in because it's currently 10 to 12 and I've just been editing this video for the last two hours or so. Um, I'm going to quickly charge my room, then I am going to head straight to bed. I was going to go to the gym in the morning and I really don't want exercise to be the thing that like has to be cut out but I just think I want to get my essay done as early as possible tomorrow so I'm gonna head to bed I'm gonna get up tomorrow morning I'm gonna go straight to the library and I'm gonna try and get the vast majority of it written before my class at two o'clock because I know that it's just better to do that than to put it off and I've moved my gym slot to after my classes with the hope that I'll have it done in time and um Rob asked if I wanted to go to the pub and I said oh I've got to write my essay in the evening he was like why not write it in the morning then you can go to the pub in the evening and I was like you know what Rob you're never wrong, so that's the plan. I'm off to sleep. Um, I'm gonna take this off my head now, actually. I didn't vlog all that much on Thursday because I was trying to get this essay done, but I went to the library for about four, five hours in the morning and made actually quite significant progress. And then I had a class at two o'clock where we got a surprise exam. And it was honestly, it really like, it really shook my confidence to be fair. But like, I just wanted to get over it really quickly because I was like, it's really not a big, problem and everybody else found it really difficult so I went for a little wonder, cleared my head, went to prep because I've cancelled my free coffee subscription because I like going to coffee like other places but I've still got it for a few more weeks so I was like gotta make the most of it um, and I just sort of people watched for a little bit and cleared my head <laughs> and then we had another class um, this one was a lot more chilled um, which I was very thankful for and then me and Anna went to the jars if you're ever in Oxford I can't believe I didn't get on this hype beforehand oh the falafel the baba ganoush the vine leaves everything so freaking good and look how beautiful Oxford looks in the autumn I am so lucky to live in this city me and Anna have gone to Najar. Show us your app. Oh, what did you get, Anna? Oh, I got, I got everything. I've been changed by Eve. I've got uh, falafel, hummus, halloumi, and chicken. That is a pretty and good some combo. Stuff leaves as well. And some stuff really fine leaves. Oh, and your camera's on. I know, do you to take a picture of it? Best vibes ever. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Looking and feeling a little bit worse for wear. Um, I got. Okay, same. I got back about an hour ago. Um, we had a surprise collection, which was. I didn't even finish it, like it was nasty, it was, it was not good, but I'm over it, I'm over it now, I have done enough stressing about Spanish translation, um, so I'm currently sat on the balcony, um, because I thought I really can't bother to go to the library, I'm just doing my essay, Philip Schofield's with me, the fairy lights are on, looking very cute here on the balcony right about now, so pretty nice place to do some work if you ask me, um, the essay's deteriorating in quality, but I want to go to the pub, so... It's gonna get done. It's gonna get done. Got, got another, I've got another three hours to do it, so let's go. After that, we did go to the pub. Georgia was very excited. Um, we headed down the North Parade into Jericho, which is actually really close to LMH, and Jericho is one of my favorite areas of Oxford. If you ever if you ever come in, then definitely go and have a wander around there. They have so many nice restaurants and pubs and things like that. So we went to the Jericho Tavern. I wanna say it was the Jericho Tavern. And we just sat it, having sat having a chat, like catching up because it had been a busy week for all of us, um, and taking some photos as you can see with all the cameras and doing some fake boomerangs. I'm really not sure what's going on here. Yeah. <laughs> Set. Huh? Whoa, wait. <laughs> He's actually really fast. He's really good. He's really good. He's George is off as well. <laughs> Hello, good morning. It's now Friday, so I have three classes this morning. I need to send my essay off, but tonight we're going to formal, which is why I've extended this vlog 
as far as I have because we're all gonna get dressed up. So just gotta get through today, which we're gonna do. I am running on day four hair. I've been showering, but I just haven't been bothered. I'm trying to train my hair to, to like go along without washing. I'm now on day four and it doesn't look that bad, but it feels horrible. So definitely need to wash this afternoon because I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> So I headed to Worcester for a translation class. If you're wondering why I'm always at Worcester, it's because our German classes are at Worcester, which I've explained before, I think. And then me and Georgia had a grammar class, which this week is online for some reason. So we went and sat in the common room in the Taylor, and you probably remember this from my first year vlogs. It's a bit of a dingy place, but it's good to, good to get work done. So we had a grammar class and then I had another lecture, which was actually a very good recap. Hello everybody, I've just submitted my essay, just had a few classes as well. Was it the most inspired piece of writing I've ever produced in my life? No. Do I care? No. Because it's Friday and I'm now going to go to the gym. Finally, I feel like I've cancelled going to the gym so many times this week just because of I just have managed my time as well as I really could have. So I'm going to go do a nice treadmill walk, watch something on TV. Oh, it's going to be great. Might even do a leg workout from feeling funky. Yes. <laughs> Hello everyone, so I'm now ready for formal. I've got this, oh my god, my room. I swear I do tidy at times. I've got this black dress on from Mango, black heels, just gone for all black really because I didn't really know what to wear. Um, and yeah, I just feel very weird like being all dressed up and not really vibing the hair, but I'm sure it'll drop in a minute. Um, and yeah, going, going to formal, so exciting. And then for some reason we we decided karaoke again would be a good idea. I actually remember all of this and had only had a couple of glasses of wine. So enjoy yet another slot of karaoke, which I'm sure, honestly, judging by how often we do it, will become a very regular fixture in the vlogs. <laughs> Where that when I sing, I sound like I'm shouting and it's because I've lost, like I just lose my voice so easily. And I feel like every time I sing nowadays, I feel like I'm really straining my vocal cords. So if anyone knows how to fix that, like, and how to to stop straining your vocal cords so much, because I don't know what's happened because I literally used to sing, like I used to do singing lessons, whatever. Um, and I feel like I've lost all my range. Like my vocal cords just hate me. I don't know if it's like due to chest infections or whatever over the time, but if anyone has any tips on how to sing without straining your voice, if you're still watching, then that'd be great. <laughs> that guys i'm gonna actually end the vlog here i don't know if this will be going up at 11 or like sort of in the afternoon tomorrow depending on how quickly i can get it edited in the morning but i really hope you've enjoyed it honestly it's been a crazy week i'm not gonna lie i very much struggled to like process it i have felt a little bit detached from everything this week but i think it's just because it's been so overwhelming coming back but 
it has been a really really good week and I I'm just so excited to be back in Oxford and I just want to squeeze like every last moment of enjoyment out of it so I really hope you enjoyed this vlog as chaotic as it was if you would like more vlogs do let me know I probably won't vlog every week because as we know that did not end well in first year but I would like to vlog a lot of this year as a means of documenting it and yeah I will see you very very soon with a new video bye guys